In this video, we're going to make a starter circle using denim from scratch. So the other starter circles I've used, I've always used raffia, but I also use just using the denim um, right from the center. So I've just got here a piece of a strip of denim, which is about two centimeters. So just under an inch, it's not, it's cut very roughly. So it's even got a little frayed bit there. It's a little bit fatter there, but roughly about two centimeters like that. I've just cut a piece of this cotton yarn, which I find really a good yarn to use. If you can only find um, wool or some thicker twine or something, that's fine. So it really is about trying to use what you've already got. This is what I'm using. It's nice and strong. You don't really want it to be too stretchy. So this is quite firm. It's not stretchy. Um, but if that's all you got, then that's fine. So I'm going to start this off. I'm actually going to do it double because it makes it a little bit easier double. So I'm just going to thread my needle double like that. I've got the denim here. So I've used a light colored denim so you can see it in the video, but you can use dark denim or black denim or any canvasy type fabric. It might be a pair of chinos or something. That's fine. So it's just that nice twill kind of um, fabric that um, is cotton. So that's what we're using. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of fold it a little bit like that and then tie it into a knot. So this is basically the start a circle with a knot like that. Okay. You've got that there. That's going to be your center. Those two pieces come down together like that. And this bit here in the knot is going to be the center and where you're going to push your needle. So you can see it like that, okay? So your needle goes nice and easily through the center. So that'll be the center of your circle. Bringing those two bits of the fabric together like that, they're gonna be the core of your fabric which you're going to stitch around. So I shall thread that through. I'm going in the front and then I'm going to pull that through, leave about that amount. Then that's going to go just tuck that under out of the way. And then I'm just going to go, I'm going to do a blanket stitch. You could do an over stitch, but blanket stitch I find kind of works well. So I'm going to put that in the middle like that. This is going to go around the back of the needle and then I'm going to pull it through like that. I'm going to try and space my stitches out. So they've got, I've kind of got an even spacing but sometimes I don't get them all that even that one's not very even there that one's not too bad so don't worry about it too much if it's not even the more you do the more you practice the better you'll get so don't let that hold you up okay so I'm just going to go in the front around the back and then I'm just going to hold my thread in the position that I want it so about like that so I might get six around here I might get eight it all depends what spacing I can get. So that one's going over there. So I'm just going to position it over there. So I'm not pulling it too tight yet. Then I'm just going to pull it like that. So we're going around in the front, around the back, pull it through. Try and hide that dark blue there. like that that and I'm just going to keep going around trying to evenly space them and if you've got a contrast color obviously you're going to see your spacing more than if your color is kind of a similar color so if I was using a light blue you wouldn't see your stitching as much so I'm just going to keep going around like that okay then Okay, so how many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so then I'm going to go, we're doing our second row now. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of this material here like this, okay, and, and stitch through there. If we just stitch through the thread, sometimes it gets a little bit too unstable. So I find stitching through the material, can you see that? Actually makes it a little bit easier and stronger. Okay, so that's scrunched up. Go in the front, around the back, and pull that through. OK. 
stitch and I'm going to grab that stitch there and go in there now starting off can be a little bit more um, intuitive it might not be too accurate now so I've gone into that stitch there so I'm going to go into the middle there in between the denim okay so that makes it a little bit stronger just tuck that little bit in there give it a nice firm tug there okay and that's basically it so I don't Okay. so I'm doing a stitch in between those stitches so we'll end up with 12 but if you end up with more that's fine don't worry too much about getting accurate you're just starting off okay. I'm going to go under there now what you'll find is the more you do your little um, the ridge of your blanket stitch will come to the top Okay, so your ridges around here a little bit. I'm going to leave it there because it kind of keeps it nice and strong. Okay, now this is when you, it's not even. So I'm actually not going to put another one in there. I'm just going to put one into the next stitch there. Like that. And then I should put another one there. So I won't end up with 12. But it really doesn't matter. I'm going to leave that little bit out there because I'm going to trim that later. Okay, so you can see what we're doing. And gradually that will increase. I'm just going to lift that up there, push it down the back. Like that. Okay, so then you can see how that's formed 